a man found himself ensnared in a guillotine, narrowly avoiding the calamity of losing his head. Fortunately, the blade got stuck, preventing the cosplay from being a total success. Paramedics attempted to comfort him before resorting to cutting tools. Despite collective efforts, the blade remained stubborn, bringing the man's wife to tears. Thus, the rescue team reluctantly grabbed the saws, only to be scolded by the man, who insisted on preserving the guillotine for his upcoming performance. Ignoring his protests, they deftly severed the fixed point, utilized a spreader to wipe in the gap and triumphantly lifted the blade, the man was finally liberated, and as the paramedic inspected his neck wound, an inexplicable pain radiated through her own neck. A man is tightly wedged onto a railing, the result of succumbing to work-related stress and leaping from the fourth floor. The captain, making a decisive call, orders the team to saw through the railing. As they cut, the metal becomes scalding hot, requiring them to douse it with water. With the last bar severed, the man is temporarily rescued and placed on a stretcher. Approaching the ambulance, he goes into cardiac arrest. Swiftly, the team removes the entire railing. Ready! Pull! flips him, under the medic's expert hands, administers a life-saving shock, his heartbeat restored, they rush him into the ambulance, ultimately, safely delivered to the hospital. The girl was in excruciating pain below, but when the teacher spread her legs, the tiny legs of a baby became glaringly visible. The just-turned-adult high school girl was about to give birth. To keep it a secret, the teacher immediately covered the baby with her skirt, then ushered them away. However, the girl still didn't realize she was pregnant. The teacher gently laid her down, opened her legs, and prepared the birthing mat. Encouraged by the teacher, the girl pushed through, and the baby was born safely. Soon, the girl was taken to the hospital. When the girl's father arrived at the hospital and saw the baby, he became extremely nervous. He immediately insisted the girl get rid of the child, adamant about not letting her mother know about the pregnancy. The father's anxious demeanor made the teacher suspect this matter was not as simple as it seemed. The woman holding her newborn looks lost. The baby is wrapped in a membrane. A firefighter swiftly extracts the infant for proper breathing. Surprisingly, the amniotic sac proves resilient. I need a scalpel. With a decisive cut, the sac opens, releasing murky fluid. The firefighter works tirelessly, clearing the baby's airways and skillfully severing the umbilical cord. Finally, a faint breath from the baby, but urgent medical attention is needed. At the hospital, the baby is fine. Yet the firefighters are perplexed as the woman remains engrossed in her phone, oblivious to her baby's welfare. Even the child's grandmother seems indifferent. The truth unfolds, the girl's mother never accepted her boyfriend, especially after he disappeared before childbirth, leaving the mother furious. Honey, I already had one baby girl and she was more than enough trouble for me. I want nothing to do with that one. The man's head is firmly wedged against the windshield. As a firefighter climbs onto the car roof, the incessant movement of his lips catches their attention. They realize there might be another victim inside the man's car and hastily instructs a teammate to check. The man trapped amidst the shelves has fallen into unconsciousness. Firefighters quickly maneuver the heavy shelves aside. Eventually, they successfully extract the man. Simultaneously, a firefighter returns to the car's front, securing the man's head with a firefighting suit. Using a power drill, they start cutting through the glass successfully splitting it in half. After securing the man with a neck brace, they swiftly transport him to the hospital. On the other side, the woman struck by the impact has her leg bent at a 90-degree angle, necessitating immediate straightening. As the firefighter exerts force, the woman's agonizing screams echo through the entire street. After immobilizing the woman's leg, she is promptly transported to the hospital. A man with a light bulb in his mouth, struggling to get it out. Just a moment ago, the woman explained they were decorating the Christmas tree. In order to free up his hands for other things, the husband casually stuck the light bulb in his mouth. No matter how hard he tried, the light bulb stubbornly remained stuck. The firefighters attempted to use pliers, but the smooth surface of the light bulb made it impossible to find a grip. They then tried suction cups, but after a lot of gesturing, they couldn't find a way in. After all this time of struggling, the man's patience was visibly wearing thin. Screw it. I'm gonna do the Heimlich maneuver. Without hesitation, she swiftly moved behind him, embracing his abdomen. <laughs> Finally, with a crisp sound, the light bulb shattered, the man was saved. A boy's head is trapped on the balcony railing for three agonizing hours. His eyes brim with resentment towards his mother, who anxiously scans the surroundings as if searching for something. Fortunately, firefighters arrive just in time, deploying a ladder to rescue the boy. However, in a shocking turn, the mother releases her grip. Miraculously, 
firefighters managed to secure the railing, preventing a disastrous fall. With precision, they wield an electric saw, wrapping the boy in clothing to shield from sparks. The crowd watches with bated breath as the railing is severed, freeing the boy's head. As the firefighters prepare to take him to the hospital, the mother harboring dark secrets resists. There's no reason to take Archie to the hospital. I mean, clearly there's nothing wrong with him. Three years ago, Child Protective Services took him away from his mother with suspicion of abuse and neglect. It turns out, she subjected the boy to abuse to gain her husband's attention. You'd never believe what can be pulled out of a big guy's ear. Just moments ago, a whopping 300-pounder was causing chaos at home. The woman was just applying makeup in the car when suddenly the driver slammed the brakes. The eyeliner pencil went straight into her eyeball, causing her to tremble in pain. The paramedic comforted her to stay calm. The driver rushed over, eager to deflect blame and explain the situation. The woman urged the paramedic to remove the eyeliner pencil quickly. Faced with such an injury, the paramedic was uncertain how to proceed and opted for initial wound care before rushing her to the hospital. The paramedic administered a pain reliever, providing temporary relief to prevent further harm to the eye. The paramedic searched the car for a cup of coffee. Hey, that's mine. Build a CFD. After disinfecting, they carefully secured the eyeliner pencil in place using the cup and then wrapped it with gauze to complete the dressing. The ambulance, Kathleen, can you walk? I think so. Okay, slowly. Step. Go. It was the chubby dude's first time on a roller coaster. Suddenly, the safety bar came loose, causing his friend to be ejected instantly. The roller coaster came to an abrupt halt at its highest point leaving the man hanging in midair. Witnessing this spectacle, the rest of the park visitors whipped out there, ready to capture any potential fall. The park staff promptly dialed 911. The firefighters arrived swiftly. They extended the ladder for the rescue, but the fire truck's ladder had height limitations. The brave firefighter had to climb by hand. Upon reaching the man's precarious location, he secured himself and instructed the man to extend his arm through the rescue rope. However, the terrified man refused to let go. The firefighter reached out urging him to hold on and assuring him everything would be alright. In a distressing turn of events, the overwhelmed man suddenly let go, seemingly out of nowhere. Following the tragic incident, the firefighter was haunted by the man's death. He even began to question his own rescue abilities to the point where he sought assistance from a psychologist.